blurbs of a tiny variety. Greetings. We got a package here that I actually received a couple weeks ago, just now getting around to opening it up. Whoops. <laughs> Been out of town and stuff, but anyway, let's go ahead and do that. All right, well, <laughs> so this is the Thummy. The Thumby, the world's smallest gaming console, is the claim. And you know what? I could believe it just seeing it here. It's, it's even smaller than I thought it was. Man, just even seeing the pictures, it looked pretty small, but yeah, about the size of a thumb indeed. So, this is an ongoing Kickstarter project. Yeah, uh, it started September 28th. It's got like 17 or 18 days left as I'm recording this. I normally don't even cover Kickstarter things, but this one struck me as a little bit different because uh, they've already got a bunch of these little... Uh, early versions made up and they've been sending out to folks and I mean you know it's nice to have an actual working thing where you can see it and like check it out or whatever I'm not telling you to like back it or not I'm just saying it is a Kickstarter thing I normally don't bother with those but yeah uh, tiny circuits Ken Burns they uh, have made a bunch of interesting little tiny products apparently but this is the one that <laughs> really struck me as being extremely fascinating because it's just so friggin tiny a little tiny game console yeah let's just open it up because i'm an absolute sucker for tiny little consoles any type of tiny thing at all really i like the uh <laughs> game boy game case here and that is of course what it's styled after oh my goodness so would you look at that that is hilarious that is so small <laughs> micro usb on one side a little i guess power button up there a little tiny tiny little oled screen uh, this is a beta or pre-release version so this is not exactly final they did tell me so uh full production run will be a little bit nicer and honestly you look at anything this tiny that up close it's going to look a little weird but uh yeah let's just read about this because okay based on the raspberry pi rp2040 microcontroller which i had never heard of that particular rpi variant monochrome 72 by 40 pixel oled internal lithium poly battery micro usb connector internal speaker power switch and those dimensions i don't even know how much thing how much does this weigh five grams <laughs> oh man i bet oh my goodness the usb cable <laughs> my current usb cable is six times heavier than the actual device that is so funny and yeah so it's open source games are created using micro python you know, as a web-based ide that directly connects to it over micro usb it's just such a neat project man ah how, how cool is this? Like, it's so much smaller than literally anything else that I've ever seen in terms of a little gaming thingy. Like, about the closest I've seen are those little teeny tiny arcade machines, little keychain arcades. But those are still so much bigger than the Thummy. And, of course, I've covered the little micro mini whatever Oregon Trail device. And that was getting to, like, <laughs> the limits of my eyesight and eye strain <laughs> for just how small it was. And then, I mean, you know, you put it up something... Like the little game and watch like it's just ridiculous like it's it's close in size to the d-pad and i got yeah a little micro usb apparently it comes with micro usb instead of uh, usb c because c is not only quite a bit larger actually but is also more expensive and uh you can also use this as a link cable to connect them up multiplayer which is pretty neat and uh yeah i think it's like 19 20 dollars to back it at the moment don't know if that's going up i got no association with these folks uh, other than again they just sent this over and i'm just making this as an informative video because i thought it was interesting uh there was no strings attached to them sending it it's not a paid sponsorship or endorsement it's just you know hey here's the thing do you want to look at it i said yes uh let's get this thing turned on Ooh. Wow. That is so stupid. <laughs> I gotta stop laughing because like even the slightest little movements are gonna make this impossible to record. Oh man. So I've got the macro lens here. I'm gonna have to 
Get it way closer up. All right, full on macro here. Look at that. <laughs> I can barely see this thing myself, like in person. Like I'm wearing my glasses and everything. It's as good as it gets, but uh, it's smaller than my index fingernail. Looks like there might be like a, a slight flicker on the camera that's just gonna have to do with refresh rate, shutter inconsistencies. Looks nice in person. All right, let's play a daggum game. Ooh, we got Tris. Is that? I seriously can barely see this. I'm gonna have to look at the screen of my camera. Tiny Tris. Oh, I didn't mean to start the game. I meant to go. Okay, well, I guess we're playing this. <laughs> this is so far beyond the limits of what we should be doing. Oh, scientists didn't stop to think if they should. Just if they could. I, I, I can seriously barely, barely, barely see this in person. Not because of the actual like lack of sharpness or something. It looks really sharp from what I can tell. It's just my eyesight, man. Can't do it. Wow. This is a weird experience. This doesn't even feel like it should be possible. Ugh. Put that over there. Sorry if everything is ridiculous in terms of the framing. I'm going to have to go back to another angle here because this is impossible to record. <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, no, no. Go over. Uh, I want to clear like one line before I quit. Come on now. You know, I've played some challenging Tetris ports, but this right here, pure novelty factor and nothing more. <laughs> All right, how do I go back? Is there, is there any other... Uh, I guess I just got to turn it off. Maybe there's like a, no, what's this button? Is it just on and off? All right, so it looks like you just press down and you can go to some different things. We got audio on and off. Still haven't heard any audio. Uh, what's that, BRF, BFS? Oh man, I feel like an eye test here. <laughs> okay, RFSD, Tiny Ann, Tiny Delve, Tiny Triss, which we've already played, and Tiny Soar. Interesting. All right, let's try whatever this is. Wow, I can't read that. RFSD Royalty Friss? Frig? Free Space Debris. Whatever. Oh, we got a little bit of sound there. Wow, sound. That must be like the tiniest little piezo beeper ever. <laughs> it's very tricky to go diagonal. Oh, this D-pad in particular. It's like it's almost too clicky. Like it'd be nice if it just sort of rocked around and was squishier, which is a weird thing to say. I usually like very clicky D-pads, but... It's so hard to press. Where is the sound even coming out? I guess like just the, uh, the micro USB port. There's like no other openings. Let me see if I can get it up close to the mic so you can hear it just a little. Yeah, just the little teeniest, faintest little piezo electric, and I haven't run across like I guess I'm just going way too far out. I don't know how to go back either to the menu. Maybe there's a way to do it, but it didn't come with any documentation. I probably have to go to this thingy that it said to go to, but I haven't done that. Uh, this is blurbs. I just record and don't prepare. All right, so tiny Ann. Oh, tiny Annelid. It's be like worms. Oh. Nope, this is more like, oh my goodness, like snake. Oh no, this, this, this is impossible, dude. You gotta be kidding me. This, this D-pad is way too small for a game like this. And that screen obviously doesn't help. You need like a, like a needle point to go in between those directions quickly enough. The snake moves way too fast. Oh, wow, this is awful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All 
Like, I can actually see the appeal of uh, making games this tiny and this basic. Not so much playing them. <laughs> the novelty is off the charts, though. Amazing in terms of that. And honestly, the fact that, I mean, you know, technological marvel, all that kind of stuff. But man, no, actually playing games, this is, this is not something you buy to play games. You buy this to, like, put it on your keychain and be like, look at this, I got the world's smallest game console. Isn't that neat? Sure is. And then that's that. Or if you're into, like, programming, um, or, you know, the, the, the challenges of coming up with game designs that are basic enough, but also recognizable enough to still be a game. Yeah, I could see that being pretty appealing. Tiny Delver. Uh, oh dear. What is this? Uh-oh. Things are moving when I am, and I'm like a little at sign. Is this a roguelike? I bet it is. Okay, so there's an inventory. <laughs> yeah, this is totally like a little roguelike. This is hilarious. I could see this making some sense. Let's see, how do I... Act, act on? Is that like the action? Press the direction, maybe? Yeah. Yep. Now see this makes a little more sense because it's uh Whoops. Well I die. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so it's almost it, 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 roguelike stuff. It was like a turn based thing, so whenever you move, other things move in turn. Do I have a sword equipped? It looks like I do. I have pants, sword, a small hot pot. <laughs> Just have a, a full-on hot pot meal. I don't even know, dude. Anyway, uh, yeah, this makes more sense, though. Don't make, like, action-based games for something like this. Or, like, reaction time where you have to... Oh, I died again. Killed by dungeon arachnid. Wow. I suck at it, but I, I do quite like that. But yeah, RFSD or whatever... No, it's too tiny for that. Same for this one. If the snake moved like 10 times slower, <laughs> maybe. But like this, this D-pad is just, you know, it's basically impossible to use for human fingers. Even a baby could not use this. Yeah, it feels almost like it needs a teeny stylus or something to go along with it. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, it's like a endless runner or like a moon patrol type of thing. Yeah, I like this one too. This makes more sense. Literally just one button, one basic objective. You know, it's reaction time based, but it's not like mixing up buttons and D-pad and everything else. When you start doing that, it's just way too complicated for this tiny little thing, I think. I could see like a Flappy Bird game making tons of sense on here. Oh, daggone it. <laughs> I gotta really focus. I gotta focus. Yeah, like little Flappy Bird games or teeny tiny card games. Casino games, gambling games. Those would make a lot of sense. Puzzle games where you're not like uh, running against the timer or having to move real fast like Tetris. Uh, like, if they slow down Tetris a good little bit, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Tetris kind of makes sense on here, but... It's such a tiny screen that having a vertical play area... Like, it'd be different if you were playing Tetris like this. Then you would have a little more reaction time and a slightly larger screen. I could see... Yeah. Like a vertical mode Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Well, I guess that's about it for the thummy, at least, that I'm going to go into. Because, uh... I'm not a programmer. I don't have any other games for it. I don't even know if there are any other games for it yet. There probably are, but um, I don't have any. So yeah, I, this is such a cool idea. <laughs> and it's such a cool execution, too. Like, look how small this is. I don't know if it's coming across on camera or not. It's so hard to tell sometimes, but like, it's literally, like, this is, this is ridiculous. 
like this is kind of where, I don't know, just looking in the, uh, the camera viewfinder here, that looks closer to what I was looking at, just in person. It's so damn small. But anyway, uh, apparently the Kickstarter has already been successful, like it's already funded, so it is, you know, they're going to go through with production, and like this company's made all sorts of other stuff. Been around for a while, so I have no reason to think that they wouldn't go through with it or anything, so... It's so small, it's been really hard to get the camera to focus on it this whole time. But yeah, it's really neat. I really like it, even though it's <laughs> clearly a gimmick. And you know, it's, a, it's one of those things that exists because it can, but it's absolutely a novelty and nothing more, unless maybe you're wanting to program for it. And then, uh, then it might be having a little more fun or whatever, but... Like, for instance, I've also got the uh, the Playdate device on the way, and for me, that makes so much more sense because it's actually a usable size, uh, you know, for something to actually play games on, and uh, the games look really, really similar. I haven't had my hands on that yet either, but uh, just in terms of simplicity, it kind of reminds me of that. I, I like the, the simplistic stuff of like that, or like the Pico 8, I think, was another one of those kind of little things. This, though, is just the fact that it's so absolutely tiny that I found it impossible to say no to. So, uh, yeah, thanks to them for sending it over. Hope you enjoyed this look at an early version of the Thumbie. Thanks for watching this blurb.